Good afternoon, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have a neat review for you today. This is the Ishin Assassin 180, or 180 Assassin. Now, if you look at this little quadcopter, it is has something different than what other uh, quadcopters that are similar to this has don't have, and that is a GPS. There's the little GPS module on this. Now, this quadcopter, although it looks like a racer, I don't think it's really intended to be a racer. Um, it's kind of a new breed of quadcopter. I'm starting to see uh, these um, uh, brushless uh, GPS quadcopters. Uh, I'd like to call them um, GPS explorers or uh, FPV explorers. What they are is um, they, they come equipped with a GPS, but uh, because of that, they really don't have the, the speed and uh, maneuverability of a racer type quadcopter. They're more for just strictly FPV flying. Uh, exploring FPV flying. Say if you have an area that you wish to explore uh, with a lot of distance around you via FPV, you might consider one of these. Um, this one in particular has GPS to assist it. I don't know about, uh, it does have position hold, but uh, I think it's more or less mainly to maintain altitude, help you maintain altitude. It also has a, a barometer uh, inserted in there somewhere to help it maintain altitude, but that in addition with the GPS helps it to maintain altitude pretty uh, well, uh, particularly if you're accelerating or, or moving. Uh, that The barometers tend to be a problem. If you, t tend, if you go with altitude with a barometer only and you start to accelerate, the wind speed causes a drop in static pressure. Uh, increase in dynamic pressure, but drop in st uh, static pressure, uh, which the barometer is reading. Okay, the barometer is reading static pressure, and as you go forward in velocity, um, it interprets that as uh, climbing, and it will start to, uh, you know, it, it sees a drop in pressure. It thinks it's climbing higher, and it will attempt to lower itself into the ground as you if you accelerate too quickly. If you include the GPS input, what I'm saying is. That helps stabilize that and eliminate that problem. Uh, we're going to go for a flight here shortly, but I, I want before we go into that, I want to go into some things that I ran into with this particular model. Others have been reporting other issues with theirs, but namely, first off, my GPS module was found to be dangling off to the side. Um, the adhesive that's on the top of this module that it was originally attached beneath this uh, com uh, composite uh, carbon fiber. Uh, platform here had come loose either in shipment or in storage and it was just dangling here off to the side so I took it and I um, instead of putting it on the bottom the carbon fiber you know I tried to do that first but that caused a uh, it was hard to get GPS signal with it attached to the to the bottom portion of this so I placed it on the top is what I'm saying and I used a little bit uh, piece of uh, double-sided uh, uh, wall mounting uh, tape to do such. And that seems to improve the ability of this to lock on to satellites much more quicker than being on the bottom. Um, other things, I had a loose screw right here that I had to tighten up, so make sure you check all your screws. Other people are reporting also that their switch C on their transmitters seem to be broken for some reason. Mine's working, I got lucky. The one that came with mine has switch C working properly, but others, you know, if this switch C is broken, you're, you're out of luck because this is how you select the different modes for this uh, quadcopter. All these switches are more or less inoperative except for switch C, which is very important. When switch C is up, in the up position like I'm doing, I got it right here, um, that is in, that puts the uh, quadcopter in angle mode, which means it is stabilized. It has gyros and accelerometers stabilizing it, but it has a maximum angle, bank angle, and or pitch angle, and roll angle that it will not exceed. In other words, you can't flip it upside down if you're in angle mode. Putting the switch down in center position turns on the barometer altitude hold feature. Now with barometer altitude hold feature it will try to maintain the altitude that it's at as if you set it at a certain altitude and let go of the throttle um, it will try to try to maintain that altitude. It's not very steady as I said you know if you start accelerating it's going to probably dip. If you put it in the third position, all the way down, that enters into the, that enters the uh, GPS along with uh, the barometer. Plus, um, it will also be in horizon mode. Also, now horizon mode—I didn't forgot to mention that—that's for the center position and all the way down. Horizon mode, 
you can potentially flip this quadcopter upside down. There's no longer that angle limit applied to it. But there, with, there is, again, a barometer hold and a, and a GPS position hold. So that will probably, the GPS should kick in if you're in GPS mode to prevent you from exceeding too far of an angle uh, where it will flip upside down. And we're going to try to demonstrate that here in flight. Um, again, going over the transmitter, again, there's only, th this button here seems to be the only one that applies to this quadcopter. You know, these other buttons have no effect. Uh, this one, again, is for the three different modes that you can fly this in. Going over the batteries. The battery that comes with this quadcopter is a smart battery. It's inserted into the belly of the quadcopter to, and as soon as you insert this battery, it activates the quadcopter and you should immediately place the quadcopter on the, a flat level surface as the quadcopter's gyros will initialize soon afterwards. So you want to, when you insert this battery, you want to do it quickly and get it on the ground as soon as possible to let the gyros initialize. Um, the other thing that this quadcopter has, which is a biggie in my opinion, is that it comes with goggles. <laughs> okay. Uh, what good is an FPV <laughs> quadcopter without a good FPV system or receiver system? This one does have a 40 channel receiver system uh, in, built into it. It comes with two batteries to power it. Um, I Velcroed this battery on your, the way it's supposed to be held is it's held in place with the, uh, by putting it, or inserting the battery in between the strap. I don't think that's a very way, good way to hold a battery. So I, I put some Velcro on there to help it. But the buttons on this are, this is for channel scanning. There's 40 different channels that the quadcopter's transmitter has and 40 different, that this quadcopter's, uh, this receiver is capable of, capable of receiving and you can either select them individually by going through them one at a time by pressing down like this or you can have this scan for that frequency by holding the button down for about three seconds then it will automatically scan to look for the uh, frequency of your transmitter I recommend doing it that way <laughs> much easier um, you can set the brightness of this uh, screen the contrast of the screen uh, by pressing this button here and selecting up or down by pressing these two buttons here to adjust uh, brightness and contrast. Uh, there are various heads-up display, on-screen display parameters that you I will be seeing on this screen. I will include a, a separate uh, FPV receiver here um, so that I can show you what I am viewing more or less with this goggle since there is no capability to record uh, the, the video of these goggles. I'm going to have to do it separately with a different screen while flying today. So I think I've gone over all of the features of this quadcopter. Let's go into a flight of the Ishin Assassin 180 and see how it performs. I'm going to start off in angle mode then go into uh, angle mode or horizon mode plus uh, barometer altitude hold and then we'll go into GPS hold, see how it holds well, if it holds its position well, and then I'm going to land it, and then we're going to go into FPV flight. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, to start this up, first you turn on the transmitter, and at the same time, you pull this hinge down, and insert the battery, and close the battery door quickly. Okay, we should see the good. And all switches are not up. And throttle should be all the way down. <laughs> okay, we should be good to go here. Okay, I'm going to start off, like I said, in angle mode. And you unlock the quadcopter by going down and to the right. And we should be good. So let's... Oh, let me land it for a second first. I have a camera attached. <laughs> let me turn that camera on. We'll lock it first. Camera... Okay, run cam is recording. Sorry about that, folks. Unlocking again. Going back up. Very, very stable flyer. Can you say X5C? <laughs> and again, I am only in angle mode right now. Very stable. So this is a good flyer for beginners wishing to enter FPV. Surprisingly stable. 
Let's give it some speed now. And this is the way the East Scene Racer and all the others should have been made. But very nice. Very nice and stable. Okay, now I'm going to level it off here. Bring it in again. And we're going to land it one more time here and, and take off again in altitude hold. Well, actually, let's try altitude hold real close. Let's bring it in close. Going to position B. Barometer altitude hold. Trying to set an altitude and give it a forward pitch, and it tries to maintain that altitude. See? The barometer is trying to maintain that altitude right now. See, I'm glad I need thumb on the throttle. But again, altitude hold, or the barometer altitude hold is not very good. Let's bring it in close again. I don't know if I have GPS hold yet. I don't know if I have satellites yet, but we'll see. Satellites on. Okay. Satellite altitude hold. I got satellite. I guess I got enough satellites there. It seems to fly quite a bit differently with the satellites engaged. Much more stable. Okay. Let's go into some FPV flying. That's enough of that. Again, I'm in, this is the altitude or GPS engaged. Maybe I don't have enough satellites for a position lock. <laughs> but it seems to hold the position. It seems to accelerate much more faster too. Okay, I am going to lock it. And also, I'm going to temporarily turn it off because I want to turn on another screen to show what this quadcopter is viewing while it's flying. So let's turn off the cameras. And we'll come right back to this. Okay, the quadcopter is activated. Uh, the cameras are recording. I'm going to go put my goggles on here and uh, my wife is going to keep an eye on this for me. I'm going to plug this uh, goggles in. This is how you turn it on and off by plugging that wire in there. And I do have video. I only got two satellites locked in, I see. <laughs> okay, trying to find this by myself here. I'm doing this all by hand or by in the blind here, folks. But here we go. Uh, turning it on. Transmitters should be connected. And unlocking. And I'm going to start off in angle mode. Hope you enjoy this flight. Unlocking. Wish us luck. Okay, going to barometer hold. Well, I'm seeing a lot of jello. Lots, lots of. Where, 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 what kind of altitude hold is this? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go slow here until we get good lock on the satellites. I got five of them. This one here, you know, I'm looking without glasses. The resolution is not very good. I can tell you that right now with the screen. It's not really high definition. Oh, it's kind of high, you know. It's not good. 10.7 volts, too. I'm going to be landing in this short I guess I've done that initial flight. It's supposed to give us a low battery warning. That's a lot of Yeah, this screen is not very good. <laughs> Keep in mind, 
I got the trebarometer holes here. This is angle mode. Angle mode seems to be better to fly this. <laughs> And barometer hold that barometer goes up and down. And yeah, I'll tell you right now, folks, I'm hesitant to fly this high speed right now. I'm at 10.5 volts, I'm not bringing it. Yeah. Bring it in. Oh, it's getting a little low. But yeah, um, this screen, it's very low resolution. I'd rather use a different screen than this these heads-up display. <laughs> I'm going to take that hat back. Thanks, hon. Um, I wish I could show you what I was seeing on the heads-up display, but uh, that resolution is just really, really hard to to make out. Um, I don't really, didn't really like it. Okay, locking and turning off the quadcopter, and I'll give you my final thoughts here shortly. Okay, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a satellite lock on there. I only was the max satellites I got was was about five, so I really wasn't able to demonstrate uh, today the. Um, GPS hold feature of this. I might try that in a future video, let it sit enough to, to get all seven satellites. I was able to get it at home, but not out here for some reason today. Might be something to do with the day. Maybe there's not enough satellites visible. I don't know. Um, the resolution, screen resolution of the uh, FPV goggles have a lot to be desired. There's both jello that I'm seeing, and on top of that, um, it's not really a high resolution screen. So, you know, it's it was really hard to make out uh, details on that screen. You'll, the video that you're going to see today is that from that I got using my Sky 702 receiver, which is a much better screen. But the actual screen of the uh, goggles, uh, <laughs> there's a lot to be desired there. Um, Let's see, the barometer, altitude hold with a barometer, I put it in position two, it didn't seem to work very well. I was going up and down, up and down with that thing. Um, I, I was actually afraid to go into high speed because I didn't know what that was going to do, <laughs> okay, <laughs> if, it would, if the barometer would uh, take it into the ground or not. And again, I couldn't uh, uh, enter into GPS mode, uh, which would have smoothed that out. That GPS mode does work. It just takes a time for this... Uh, GPS to lock on, and unfortunately, I didn't have enough battery juice or time to do that uh, with that initial test flight that I did here uh, without running out of battery juice. But overall, I don't know about this one. <laughs> it, it, it works kind of, but uh, there are issues with it. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.